Okay guys, I want to make a super quick video on how to test your capacitance of a capacitor. As always, safety is number one. Before you handle a capacitor, make sure the power is off and you want to discharge it by just putting a screwdriver or something with an insulated handle um, across these prongs just like this. And make sure you discharge the power because these are a lot like batteries that can hold power and then you touch them and it gives you a good zap potentially stopping your heart and yeah, that would not be a good day because you're dead same thing with even a brand new one maybe this was a return maybe it was tested at a shop or whatever maybe it has some power in it before i start messing with it i would make sure it's discharged okay so first off you're gonna to wanna to have a multimeter that's capable of, check, of testing for capacitance. Capacitance, so I can get this to focus, is this symbol right here. I'm gonna turn my multimeter to that symbol. And not all multimeters can do this. Um, basically, it'll be one that costs a little bit more than uh, entry level ones. But anyway, so the thing I'm looking for this is 20, get it focused, all right, 20 UF plus 5%. That means this can be, this needs to be 20 microfarads or maybe 5% more, probably maybe 5% less and it's still good. So let's test this one and see what we got. So I'm gonna put a lead on here. And put one on here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's showing 19.53. So that's well within where we need to be. So this would be a good capacitor. So what's actually happened, this is the capacitor from my furnace uh, blower fan. I needed to test it. My capacitor was good. My actual blower fan was bad. So I bought a new blower fan motor and it needed a different size capacitor. So this one's 10 microfarads. So hook this one up. Nine point nine zero. So this one is plus or minus six percent. And we look like we are within reason on there as well. So both of these are good. And it's just that simple, but you have to have a multimeter that can actually test capacitance. There's another way to using another a regular multimeter, but it really doesn't give you fully accurate results, but you will be able to know if it's just completely bad. I'm not gonna go into it. I really don't even understand it. The best way is having a capacitor checker or a multimeter that can check capacitance. They do have devices that is dedicated for capacitance only this one can do many things thank you have a good day if you like this subscribe there will be more videos coming I actually shot this video using my new 10 to 18 canon lens on my canon 80d i will have a, uh, a review coming up for that pretty soon